Hello friends in this presentation you are going to learn the topic of reissue of forfeited shares let us now first recapitulate the effects of forfeiture of shares as you are already aware the membership of the shareholder is cancelled because his shares are forfeited the shareholder is asked to return his share certificates the amount paid on shares is confiscated the amount that is unpaid on shares is cancelled these forfeited shares can be reissued and the reissue of forfeited shares can be done either at a premium or at a discount let us take an example and understand the reissue of forfeited shares at a discount suppose mr anand is holding a share of 100 rupee face value company has also called up rupees 100 on these shares mr anand has paid rupees 70 and he has not paid rupees 30 therefore the company has forfeited his shares company has now decided to reissue these shares to mr vijay company has decided to reissue these shares to mr vijay at rupees 30 mr vijay pays rupees 30 thus mr vijay receives a fully paid share of 100 rupee face value merely by paying 30 rupees this means that the company has issued this share to mr vijay at a discount of 70 rupees but does it mean that the company has incurred any loss in the transaction answer is no see how company has already collected 70 rupees from the earlier shareholder that is mr anand and now company has collected 30 rupees from mr vijay and thus company has collected the full called up amount on these shares that is rupees 100 so in this example the company is said to have issued the shares at a discount of 70 however the amount of discount given to mr vijay is not more than the amount paid by the earlier shareholder that is mr anand now let us learn some important aspects of reissue of forfeited shares see the shares that are forfeited are now in the hands of the company company then calls a meeting of board of directors the board of directors may decide to reissue these shares remember shares can be reissued at a discount however the amount of discount should not be more than the actual amount received excluding premium if any the discount that is given to the new buyer should be made good from the forfeited amount that is the amount already received from the previous member in the earlier example the discount of rupees 70 given to mr vijay was made good out of the amount paid by mr anand that is the earlier shareholder let us learn the journal entry for reissue of forfeited shares bank account debit share forfeiture account debit to share capital account bank account is debited with the amount received from the new shareholder share forfeiture account is debited with the discount allowed on reissue of shares and share capital account is credited with the amount of capital in respect of reissued shares that is called up amount in respect of reissued shares important point here is that the loss by way of discount on reissued shares is adjusted from the share forfeiture account in case there is any balance left over in the share forfeiture account after reissue of forfeited shares then it is transferred to capital reserve account this is done with the following journal entry share forfeiture account debit to capital reserve account with the amount of credit balance of share forfeiture account remember that however 
the amount standing at the credit of share forfeiture account in respect of shares which were not reissued has to be shown in the balance sheet as an addition to the share capital. Let us understand the earlier theory part with a simple example. Suppose face value of share is rupees 100 and the amount is payable as rupees 25 on application, rupees 30 on allotment and rupees 20 on first call. This means only 75 rupees were called up on the shares. If a shareholder has paid application money of 25 rupees and allotment money rupees 30 and if he has not paid 20 rupees on first call, subsequently what will the company do? Company will forfeit the shares. Could you please tell us the entry for forfeiture of shares then? Think it over. Yes, you are right. This is the journal entry for forfeiture of shares. Share capital account debit with called up amount rupees 75. Number of shares forfeited is not given in the problem. So to share forfeiture account rupees 55 that is paid up amount that is 25 he has paid on application and 30 he has paid on allotment total 55 rupees. To calls in arrears the first call that he didn't pay is now cancelled and therefore to calls in arrears rupees 20. Suppose these shares are reissued at rupees 50 per share then the entry for reissue of shares will be see you are going to sell the shares for rupees 50 so rupees 50 will be received by the company so bank account debit rupees 50 amount received actually the called up amount is 75 and the new shareholder is taking the shares at 50 rupees the difference is the discount that we are giving to the new shareholder and the amount of discount is 25 but we cannot debit it to discount account because the earlier shareholder has already paid 55 rupees on his shares so we can debit that account and collect 25 rupees in this journal entry therefore share forfeiture account debit 25 that is amount that is adjusted to share capital account 75 that is called up amount in this case there will be a balance in the share forfeiture account how see 55 rupees were paid by the earlier shareholder which we have given and shown in the credit to the in the credit of share forfeiture account now in the second entry we have debited share forfeiture account with 25 rupees this means that the total amount of balance in the share forfeiture account is rupees 30 that is 55 minus 25 this amount of balance of share forfeiture that is unutilized balance of share forfeiture account is transferred to capital reserve with the journal entry share forfeiture account debit to capital reserve let us continue with the earlier example had these shares been reissued at 80 rupees per share that is at a premium of 5 rupees per share because you remember that the called up amount is 75 and now in this second situation company is reselling the shares at 80 rupees per share meaning company is getting a profit of 5 rupees this being a capital profit it is transferred to a separate account called security premium account so we pass a journal entry for reissue of forfeited shares at a premium as bank account debit 80 rupees to share capital account 75 to security premium account rupees 5 per share Remember that in this situation, the entire balance of share forfeited account will be transferred to capital reserve with a journal entry share forfeited account debit to capital reserve 55 rupees. Entire amount of share forfeited account is not utilized for reissue purposes. Let us now first recapitulate the effects of forfeiture of shares. As you are already aware, 
the membership of the shareholder is cancelled because his shares are forfeited the shareholder is asked to return his share certificates the amount paid on shares is confiscated the amount that is unpaid on shares is cancelled these forfeited shares can be reissued and the reissue of forfeited shares can be done either at a premium or at a discount